more than 200 military and police personnel from across the region converged on the Saab Castries in St. Lucia for the Regional Security Systems RSS Unity Exercise 2024 closing ceremony on a humid Friday afternoon. Today we have demonstrated the commitment and dedication in preparing our officers to deal with the magnitude of threats ahead of us, whether it is as a result of climate change, transnational organized crime, or terrorism. It is my hope that training of this magnitude will continue within the region. Then we will see a better response to the scourge of crime and violence, better collaboration amongst member states and stakeholders, as we continue to build capacity, secure our borders, and to ensure the safety and security of our citizens in the region and visitors as well. The precision and coordination of the troops were assessed by St. Lucia Acting Governor General Cyril Errol Charles, with accompanying musical notes by the Royal St. Lucia Police Force Band. St. Lucia's Attorney General, Leslie Mondesi, was also on hand, emphasizing the purpose of the exercise in strengthening regional defenses against modern security threats. The Caribbean, with its breathtaking landscapes, vibrant cultures and warm personalities, is not immune to the challenges that plague our world. My colleagues and I are acutely aware of the relevance of these simulations particularly as our islands have been under siege by transnational crime. As the perpetrators of both white-collar crime and blue-collar crime become more sophisticated in their criminality, so too must our security agencies strengthen their networks and responses to these threats. The interconnectedness of our nations demand that coordinated efforts become the bedrock of our systems to allow for the seamless sharing of intel and response mechanisms. The UN Secretary Council Resolution UNX24 was implemented under the 11th European Development Fund project, funded by the European Union in collaboration with the St. Lucia government. Alexandro Tedesco, attaché Security, Justice and Human Rights Delegation of the European Union to Barbados, the Eastern Caribbean States, the OECS and CARICOM CARI Forum, lauded UNX24 for its timeliness. It is no mystery that the security context has been deteriorating across the world and the Caribbean makes no exception. Threats come in different shapes and forms, be they linked to terrorism or organized crime or political crisis or recent events in Haiti have shown. Relevant institutions and agencies need to be prepared to react against and neutralize risk arising unexpectedly in the communities they are in charge of protecting. Deputy Executive Director, Regional Security System, RSS, Graham Archer, noted that participants from the various countries engaged in simulated scenarios encompassing land-based maneuvers and sea operations. Conducting land operations alone can become complex when faced with a real terrorist threat. Nonetheless, UNEX 24 featured a joint international operation supported by the Gendarmerie de la Martinique, leading to the eradication of a possible terrorist threat. This event is the first of its kind in the history of UNEX. The member states and security chiefs of the RSS, many of whom are here as distinguished visitors, must also be commended for their commitment to ensuring the success of the exercise. The RSS views UNX as a critical tool for testing the efficiency of coordinating resource deployments among its eight member states. UNX24 serves to improve regional cooperation within the RSS in tackling security challenges like drug trafficking, terrorism, and border security threats.